within three months of diagnosis, he was bed bound, so he couldn't walk and his talking had become quite difficult. And so we had to make the decision of how we were gonna care for him. And we decided that dad wanted and we all wanted him to be at home. Luckily, we've got the hospice at home um, team um, and they came in three to four times a day, every day for the eight weeks um, when dad was very poorly before he died. When Christmas was coming up, we were, um, we knew that dad was really poorly at that point. So we all, <laughs> we just wanted to be able to have a Christmas together. And so having them here made such a difference, it meant that we could keep dad at home, it meant that we could look after him, it meant that he was comfortable at all times that he was in his own space. It was our last Christmas together and we were able to have it all together in the house and um, the kids all round dad's bed and opening presents and all having a bit of Christmas dinner together. It's, it's that that I look back on and think, wow, we did it. Like we were so close with him being so poorly, perhaps not having that, but we did it. And the hospice at home team really made that possible. You know, they worked on their Christmas day to be able to give us our Christmas day. So yeah, if people can, it's really important to support this cause and raise some money for the hospice, just to give another family the opportunity to have a last Christmas together like we did. Life limiting illnesses don't stop for Christmas. And with your help, neither will we.